Hey guys, it's Irish again. In this video, I thought I'd show you how to install and use the Tor browser. Now, if, for those who don't know what Tor is, it's just a uh, a security. Uh, it's called an onion router, where you just peel off uh, each layer, and you, you can get down to the core, but it takes a few tries just to get down there. So it's supposed to help protect your anonymity online. Uh, so let's uh, bring up a terminal here. Uh, I'm going to use the XFCE terminal just because it's got a larger font so you guys can see this. So if you're on Arch Linux, all you want to do is go Yaourt and then Tor Browser. And there you see the, the list. Uh, I obviously have this installed. Um, so before you want to do this, you go to the AUR section and do the Tor browser. Right here is the PGP key, sorry, GPG key that you want to input uh, before you install this. Because if you can't, uh, uh, if you don't put this in, then it does air out saying that the two or more PGP keys uh, have not been found or something similar to that. So all you want to do is just copy and then just paste this in and you just click enter and then you should get an, uh, uh, a message here that says that it's in there. So then you just want to go back to the Tor to Yaourt and then go Tor Browser and then you just want to pick um, the language that you want so uh, since I'm in obviously English I would just want to put the EN then there's the Spanish, the French, and then these others I, I don't know the uh, abbreviations for. So you want to hit enter uh, and then follow the prompts and everything should run smoothly. So once that's done, let me open this up. You just go to the Tor browser dash whatever and then you just want to click this. Uh, it just says that it's uh, going up. Um, so it's right there it's installed but initially it'll ask if you want to connect to the Tor browser or if you want to configure your security settings so when you're in the Tor browser you can also uh, uh, increase the privacy slash security so if we go to the privacy and security settings here uh, from what I've been told from other people who've used uh, the Tor browser that the default uh, privacy isn't as hardcore as it can be so what you can do is go all the way to the top here and then as you can see the following changes that will become click and play via no script all JavaScripts uh, performance optimizations are disabled uh, remote jars are blocked some mechanisms Displaying math equations are disabled, which is not a problem for me. Uh, some types of images are disabled, and then some fonts and icons may display incorrectly. So we'll try this right here. And then up here, you can also temporarily allow all the scripts or allow scripts globally, which is obviously dangerous. Or you can just go into the options here and then you can do a whitelist and then you can do uh, whatever you want to allow through so it has very uh, it's got a lot of customization um, that you can do on here and then obviously you can do uh, your bookmarks and stuff this is through the Firefox so you can uh, import can import your uh, your favorites through here and then just work off of this and then uh, there's uh, Tor network settings uh, so you can just uh, just you know do all that computer needs to be a local proxy so if you need to and then it can go through another firewall or you can just uh, also just create a new identity but you would have to first restart
So that is all I have. Uh, in the next video, I am going to show you guys how to do uh, Freenode or WeChat with the Tor uh, with the Tor network. I am uh, just trying to figure this out. Um, once I do, I'll show you guys how to do it. But if you do like this video, uh, please uh, give it a thumbs up, give it a like, and uh, I'll catch you guys next time.